Bosch 800 series dishwasher I'm going to install today. Be sure to watch the whole video first, one time through, and then go back and do it step by step because you'll see little things that I'll, I probably could do slightly better. This will be taking the place of this old dishwasher. All I've done at this point is taken off the bottom panel. Four points, one here, one there, one there, one there. Just unscrew those, the panel comes off, and that's it. The dishwasher comes packaged with this styrofoam around the edges, and then it's uh, plastic wrapped, some cardboard on top. And then All these parts come with it. They come in their own separate bags, which I've taken them out. You have brackets, um, some cord. Now this looks like packaging material, and it comes on the back of this. Just save that for now. You might need it. I don't think I'm going to need it in my case, but you might need it, so just hold on to it. This drain hose. Feed the hose through the strap on the side of the dishwasher that the hose is going to go toward the sink. So for mine, my sink is going to be on the right hand side. It's going to feed in to the right. So if your sink's on the left, your hose strap is gonna feed through the left. So these two items come separately. I had to buy these separately. One is a power junction box, and the other is the hot water hose. Hot water hose, uh, my old one, as you can see, will be this plastic one. It's gonna replace this. This black hose is gonna be the drain hose I just showed you that I fed through the strap. If you don't have a gar garbage disposal, that will feed up into the, the drain. But that's what that's gonna be. So the first thing that we need to do before we get to work on actually changing these is turn off the power and the water. So my power box here is in the garage. And dishwasher, turn that off. Okay, the next thing for me is turning off the water in the house. The handle usually goes in the direction of the water flow. Turn that upright, and it stops it. I shut off all the water in the house because this hot water, this is the main one, this is the one we gotta shut off. Problem is for me, uh, I cannot, well, it says pull to close, and I was messing with this, and it wasn't going easily, and I didn't wanna break it. So I just shut off all the water in the house. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is underneath the dishwasher, there's a screw here and a screw here holding the top of the, holding the dishwasher in. This dishwasher is really top heavy or front heavy. The door side of this is heavy. So once we unscrew that, we'll slide it out and there is a risk of it falling forward. So you don't want any kids playing around it once you unscrew that. Okay, now I'm gonna slide this out. Let's see. Tension is like, yeah, I still have plenty of slack under. Hot water hose, drain hose. Looks like a power cord down there. So now I'm gonna have to disconnect the hot water hose from right here. And then I will disconnect the drain hose from right here. And then when we disconnect this hot water hose, there's going to be water in these lines. So we're going to want towels or a bucket or something to get ready. Loosen those two clamps and I'll just slide them up the hose, pull the hose off. That way if there's any water, it can drain right here into that bucket. Okay, I disconnected the drain hose. So I'm going to go back under the old dishwasher. This nut, I always think lefty loosey, righty tighty, so it's going to have to turn left to get loose. Which is going to be, yeah, so I got a 5 eighths here, and I'm just going to have to work this loose. I'm thinking I should have turned on the hot water faucet 
and drained all the lines first because there was a lot of water in that line. But it is what it is and we'll keep moving on. So now that it's empty, there'll probably still be water in the line when I lower the hose. So I'm gonna have the bucket nearby. So when I lower that hose, yeah, so there we go. Water keeps coming out. So just be prepared for all the water that might come out. We got the hot water line off and we've got the drain hose disconnected from the garbage disposal. So we should have more slack to pull this out. And then we'll pull the drain hose through the back. These clamps might get hung up in the wall. Plus, I'm gonna put that new metal hose, so I'm just gonna take these clamps off, save those, and it should make it much easier to feed the hose through the wall. And we're going to want to pull that hose all the way through. See those hoses pass through. I might want to save this second piece. We've got the drain hose off. We've got the hot water hose off. Now we've got this power cord. And it's going to go to the back here. So we're going to take that apart so we can get this dishwasher out of here. So then these should just twist right off. So we got white together, which is the neutral, green and copper, which is the ground, and then the black here is the hot. So we got the hot, ground, neutral. Let me disconnect this. These are the old dishwasher wires here. This is the power that we're going to be using on our new dishwasher. So this is what we've just disconnected and pulled out of the back. So now this one is out and we can move it away. Now I'm going to get the other end of this hot water line. So again, we're going to do Lefty Lucy. All right, so my hose feeding it through the cabinet, there's this void between here in here and I'm having a difficult time feeding it through that void so I'm just going to try to get a hanger and I'm gonna try to use this because it's it's more firm I'm hoping it'll get through that void uh, holding on to this and maybe my fingers at the hole keep it up high if yours is already up there um, because it'll the drain hose needs to be higher than the dishwasher and so that way it'll just drain right to it if it's not this piece that I told you to save earlier you can attach this to the back of the wall hook your hose up to it up here somewhere and it'll keep it elevated higher than that I'm going to put these wires to put them into the junction box and this other end will plug into the back of right here. Uh, not have enough room for this box in there, so I'm gonna have to drill a hole in this side. I'm gonna put the junction box in the back of this part of the camera. I'm gonna take this clamp and I'm gonna stick it right down here, so that way when I plug in my power cord, it'll go through that clip, through that loop, and then through the wall. Unscrew the box so that I can put connect the wires inside the box. Right in here. Right 
So we got black, black, white, white, ground, green. Okay, I've got the junction box connected. Power back there. I can't mount it to the wall because this this doesn't fit. And I got my hot water hose. And I'm gonna have to connect it right there. I just want it snug. Okay, got the hot water, got the drain, they're both feeding through this loop. Extension hose that I say. Right, so I got the hoses in that I was talking about, and then I put these brackets. Slide the bracket in there, bend the back of it. Mine, I'm gonna have to take this, fold it in half, do that on both of them, so that way when it slides into here, and then I'll open the door to screw it in there. I'm gonna have to push it back a little bit further. The other thing is I want to make sure it's level. Turn these feet down. And then this is for the front of the dishwasher. And then this one is for the back. So it lifts the back up. Okay, so I finally got this in. I ended up putting the power junction box on the left, cut a hole, plugged it into the back there. And then my hoses had to run behind this cabinet back here. And so my hot water hose here was too short. It was maybe about a foot, two feet short. So I had to go buy another hose. Uh, no, this one, is an eight foot hose and they don't sell them longer than that. That's why I had to get the second shorter uh, five foot was the shortest they had. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, there, there could be a better way of doing this, but uh, I've got some extra slack in that hose. I hope it doesn't affect it. Uh, and then this hose was short again, about two feet. It stopped back behind this wall and if they had a longer one, they didn't have any for sale at the store. So uh, I just used the old extension that the builder used. And I'm just reusing that. And I did buy a new uh, connector to connect it to the dishwasher. Uh, the last part is to put on this bottom plate. It has these two brackets that come with it. All you do is you just push it in and it snaps in. And then put one one screw right there. And that holds those two. I can screw this panel on right there. There we go. Dishwasher's in. And I turned the power back on. It beeped and nothing happened. There were no lights or anything. I opened it. Nothing happened. I pushed buttons. Nothing happened. So I turned the power back off and I let it sit for a minute or two. Turned it back on. After that, I opened the door, turned it on. Apparently, it has to be open for this to happen. When it shuts, it turns off. Well, I hope this helped you out. Have a good day.